Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today I'm going to be checking out this 10 inch woofer here. This came out of one of my Behringer 10 inch active PA cabinets. Everyone knows those stupid little plastic boxes you see DJs with all the time. They're not too bad. Small events and stuff. Often use them with a subwoofer or as a uh, little monitor on stage. You can't really crank them up too much. I think they have about a 200 watt power amp in them. One inch compression driver. So what happened here yeah, something's wrong, eh? <laughs> I go to use these the other day, and I notice this woofer's locked right up. So I just replace the speakers, whatever, you know. Then uh, after I go check this out, and uh, I notice how the mag that's cracked. I've never seen this crack like this before. Usually it's this glue line right here. And uh, anywhere these break, that's just a pretty well replacement job you're not going to fix this especially in my case here that's a pretty bad break with all kinds of little pieces of crap in the I don't know I'm not well holy shit okay yeah I'm not even going to try to uh, fix that but uh, seeing it <laughs> there's still like one third the magnet on this driver and I don't think the wiring or the coils messed up the coil still looks pretty good I'm assuming this is going to make some noise. I'm hoping it does. Because usually if you put a magnet next to a coil, it's going to move at least a little bit. We still got a lot of it. Now, uh, what was I going to say? If it doesn't move and it's connected, it should at least do that volcano effect where it just makes the uh, coil hot and blows the coil. But hopefully we get some movement, hopefully we get some sound. Because I got a track that uh, my buddy Josh put together the other day. He wanted me to try out. We got sickness. We can. I'll post the. Uh, I'll actually post the link to uh, this Facebook, or not Facebook. Sorry, geez, this YouTube. Oh yeah, it has a SoundCloud download link on there, and of course you play it online. So I'll hook this up, and I'm gonna see if it works first of all. All right, we're all set up here. I had to take a clamp and stick it on my mixer case lid here, but this should do just fine. It won't bottom out. <laughs> Moment of truth. I don't even know if this thing is going to work. Oh, look at that. What's playing? Oh, I had my iTunes on. Fuck that. Right on. Okay. Let's try this track out. Wow, really bassy. Oh shit, it's already smoking. What the fuck? Oh, that amp's clipping. What the fuck? Yeah, there must be a must be a lot of bass in there. <laughs> that overload light. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. Yeah, I can smell it. Wow. It's not very loud, but it's fucking uh, eating up the power. It was just running on the friggin' peak of this amp. See, I'll set it... I'll set it just before 800 watts here. When it's flashing, that's the limit of the amp, so... We're looking at around 800 watts of power getting pushed into this sucker right now. I can feel the heat coming off it. What you need to know is the ground was thick. The thickness that was not visible by smallpox. But no less dangerous than contagious. It's definitely very, very quiet. <laughs> crackling. Look at it spit out a bit of it. There we go. Oh, it's really hot. It spit the coil right out the back. Crispy. <laughs> Just winding it out. 
Very nice. How far does it go? <laughs> How much copper is in one of these? So here's a little ball of copper I got out of the driver. Not very thick gauge wire at all. Not very much copper. It actually did surprisingly well. Probably the uh, least amount of copper in a pro audio speaker I've seen. I'm really excited to uh, see what these things will sound like if I update the drivers to something decent. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.